it is I, Ariman the Exile, and today I am bringing you news, uh, which I am doing right now. I am recording this battle, alright, it's a uh, playback, and what are we doing today? Let me explain. Alright, starting up the Siege Marine Squad, right? I'm doing a commentary video with a real fist's chaos, right? Alright, this is how we do it. I, as a Siege Marines, Imperial Fists, Siege One Guard faction, playing against a heretical chaos Iron Warriors on Fata Morgana, right? This is me against insane AI with advanced tactics, uh, plus with map, map DB on. So this is the advanced insane AI, and it is my destiny to win against it, right? Let's see how this match uh, went up. I hope I do a great work for you guys, so we can all enjoy and watch this video together. Alright, let's see what I did and what the enemy did. We ready? Let's go. It is gonna be a pro play. Take and hold and capture... Uh, take and hold is on and capture locations is all, also on. Plus annihilate mode is on. That's all you need to know, really. Alright, I'm starting with my... Siege uh, Marines Capturing near points That's a good start, right? Uh, building a Hand of Dawn, Barak Then went for a generator, Siege Generator So Imperial Fists are One faction you want to like Learn and when you learn them Like they are really good On the other side Starting with a uh, Couple of Heretics, free Heretics and couple of cultist squads capturing near points, alright. Siege generator has been built. Coming to <coughs> capture another close uh, points, right? Building listening posts. Tactical marine squad is on now, right? Let's see, I know what I did on this match. But let's see what the Chaos does. Imperial fists against Iron Warriors, ladies and gentlemen. It is going to be very interesting. So let's check it out. And I scream for the Emperor. Alright, we have Vin Diesel. <laughs> Look at this Siege Captain. His name is actually Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel is online now, he's ready to lead his Imperial Fists for the Emperor, he screams, alright. Uh, Turret coming up. Let's check it out, like, how much stuff the Chaos got, alright. Starting Chaos, Chaos going for uh, Chaos Lord. Chaos Space Marines, they scream, alright. But those are the cultists, you are wrong, my bro. <laughs> Alright. Turret immediately spot them and destroy them. Vin Diesel was also there to see them die. <laughs> Alright, we are capturing uh, relics here. I'm capturing this critical. For the Emperor! That means I'm going to have... Oh, I'm capturing two criti criticals at the time, my bad. That will serve me well. And they got uh, the one plasma generator. I have uh, also one plasma generator because Imperial Fists only got that one seed generator and it will produce more uh, benefits when you upgrade it, right? It, it costs a lot, but it's really important stuff to do. All right, building listening posts, upgrading them. What about Chaos? Let's see how the Chaos are doing. Look at this model, very nice. Handsome devil. Alright, the thing is with this snow, I mean, how the fuck did I miss this? Like, literally, I forgot to turn off weather condition, right? And I have put every, uh, every, uh, normal, let's Victory say, normal game rules 
added to the game. So I'm now holding a victory with critical locations and I'm, I'm going for the third critical location. Chaos have noticed that. Oh, there we go, they got uh, Chaos Space Marines online. Alright. Two squads, interesting. I got one of the tactical. And I believe uh, two Siege Marine squads. Okay. But I also got this turret. And that's the reason they couldn't capture my relic from me. Alright. Now there is the an another tactical marine squad on the field. Alright. Weather condition is only one mistake I made in this match. Chaos Lord now charging for my relic. Six minutes to control area victory. Right. Weather condition is the one thing I forgot to turn off. Other than that, like ev every other game rule is uh, corrected. After this match I will show you exactly what uh, game rules are added to the game. My tactical marines are shooting this uh, Chaos Lord and he is dead, alright. So, Bolter Rifle Rounds is the ability added to this tactical siege marine squad. I believe that's the ability you want to use when you have power on your siege marines. It does epic damage. Alright, cultists decapping one of my critical locations. But still, I got uh, two more. Alright, I have sended here, uh, I believe, uh, tech marine. Five minutes until taken In order to build the uh, mines there. Okay, uh, Chaos Insane AI is also building a turret near the relic, just like I did, alright. Now they are trying to demolish my building and probably they kept my relic. Okay, they also got rafters and uh, these marines with, with the heavy bolters. Now this is epic. Oh, some grenades. Very nice. I didn't have grenades. But looks like they do. Okay, what is going on this side? Oh, oh they decap. They decap my point with uh, cultists. But Imperial Fist standing tall and heavy. Destroying the Raptor squad fully. And another squad of uh, Chaos Marines are dead. Only one left with four squad members. A lot of models dead here. We can see the bodies. Yeah. Okay. We did a uh, great work. A couple of my soldiers died well. Also. Alright, Tech Marine is retreating. Now I hold only one critical location. Yeah. Okay. 50% of the strategic point belongs to me and 50% belongs to them oh they almost took down my uh, building they didn't yeah 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 all right they didn't de demolish it uh, okay going for a third generator right here and another squad of raptors another chaos lord now wielding a sword in his hand before I believe he had a mace and upgrades Okay, upgrades for the commander. Demonic fire. Okay, that gives him. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That gives him fire in his hands, as we can see. And now going for the plasma pistol upgrades. Let's see what I, what was I doing. I was also building plasma weapons. Interesting. And going for Victory fortifying campaign. this building. When you fortify your building, you receive more uh, requisitions and power. Okay, we can see 131, 58 of power. Okay, how much they do have? They have 98 and 40. Little bit better than AI right now with economy. Builders going to repair this relic, it seems. Alright, we have a <laughs> one aspiring champion capturing this. <laughs> now he he finds out that I have built a mine, and the salt marines are getting upgrades with 
axe and power fists. They can also receive a lightning close, which is required tier tier four and Six thunder hammers. Now we are decapping this from the iron warriors and capturing in our emperor's name. All right, we can see the snow on the sand. Like th th this is insane. Like I should really switch off uh, that weather condition next time. Okay, let's see what it they have here. They have Aspirin Champion with sword in his hands and Plasma Gun, alright. Also, Heavy Bolters on. The pillar coming up. Alright, my units. We can see the missiles and boom. Just like that, the pillar is no more. That's the ability when you have Wind Diesel. <laughs> I'll explain in a second. Uh, that, that's the ability of uh, wind, wind, when the wind diesel is online, like you can shoot the missiles. Raptors complete squad is dead. Now Chaos Lord has received another weapon. Man Reap, Man Reaper War Gear, alright, but he's losing a lot of HP. Now Chaos Sorcerer is joining him, shooting at the Imperial Fists. Chaos Lord is dead. Also Chaos Sorcerer is dead. Alright, when Wind Diesel is on the field, you can use those missile launchers. A whole squad receives uh, missiles, but you need to turn on that ability with a cost of power. I don't know how much, but I know it requires power. Alright, going for the turret. Vehicles now on the field from both sides. That means that we are both tier 2. Another tier saucer. Pillar lost more than half HP. Now Assault Marines charging at Puret. Blessing Posts is done. Two spots of Chaos Marines. Losing a lot of HP. They are dead. Two spots of Chaos Marines dead. The Razorback is online. MK1. This vehicle is excellent. Look at it. It has less cannon and plasma gun. The pillar is slaughtering a couple of units. More of restored. Tactical marines, plasma guns in their hands. And melta guns, I believe, for the siege marines. Alright. Wind Diesel is happy to lead his brethren into this battle. The, fill the filler with a low, very low HP. Another squad of Chaos Marines deleted. Alright. Bill coming uh, up from the Chaos side with another heavy bolter turret. And another Chaos Sorcerer. Look at this, his face. Look at the top of his head. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> He's looking pretty nice. Uh, Alright, three heretics trying to repair this defiller. I didn't notice uh, his HP probably, that is why I'm going for the other side. I was thinking, alright, we have decapped the relic. They are building another listening force, Predator Online. Okay. Oh, Siege Predator, yeah, I forgot that I have uh, built it this. And Missile Launchers demolishing the turret. Here, Sorcerer will try to do something right now. Alright, the pillar coming very aggressive. Assault Marines charging. Boom! Alright, that was a good power fist move. They are slow. That ability was for slowing down our enemies. That earth shaking stuff. Assault Marines killing a lot of models of Chaos Marine squad. Four of them are only alive. And that's another the pillar. Alright. Turrets and Chaos Marines are no more. Only one, no, only two. Alright. And these cultists are capturing another cultist squad. How many cultists do you have? The pillar dead. Where is that Chaos Predator? Okay. He was in my base. I can remember that. I repaired these listening posts. Upgrading my posts. Going for another Razorback. I already got two now on the field. Chaos Predator. 
I have noticed that, but I don't have, I believe I don't have missile launcher ability. Other than that, I have uh, multi guns and plasma guns on my marines, and a lot of power fists and axes. Another the pillar. Machine hit, losing a lot of HP. Shazam! Alright. And another the pillar is dead. He has predator shooting at my assault marines. Losing a couple of models. Now machine pit has been deleted from existence. Chaos boot is dead. Complete squad. Alright, and they don't have anything right now. Attacking HQ from Chaos. Countdown is almost completed. Critical locations, I got two of them. That's more than half. Another listening post. You see how much we're dealing here damage. HQ is gone. Listening post is gone. Spam. Alright. Taken hold, victory achieved. I mean, it was that or annihilate. I was so close at both things, so yeah. 15 minutes and 80 seconds it, it required me to defeat insane AI with advanced tactics. And they had a lot of economy. Look at this. Look at this going. I don't know you, if you can see this and probably you can. Alright. I also had a, a good economy. They even had a better power than me. Because they belie I believe they had 6 generators. Four, yeah, six. They had six gen generators. I had uh, this also six generator. A lot of stuff upgraded for that. But I had uh, a lot of requisitioning going, and I was going for melta bombs. All right. Okay. And some benefits for my imperial fist squads. Okay, and I was also going for Leonard. Leonardo. Uh, he okay. I put the normal squad cap and normal vehicle cap so we can play in against insane AIs. That's about it from this match. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'm going to do a lot of this uh, stuff going on. So prepare yourselves uh, for this kind of episodes on my channel. That is what are we going to do now? I'm going to do. <coughs> against a lot of insane AIs with all of this taking hold and uh, capture and hold stuff plus annihilate mode yeah we are going to do that so then in that way we can see how much uh, am I good against insane AIs we're gonna use a lot of factions so stay tuned all right this chaos predator, my god, it is almost deleted from existence. That's about it. We have demolished the Im Iron Warriors. Right. You can see the game rules right here. This is game options and plus game rules. Alright, everything I do is on this when I press game options. We can see like what options are there. Uh, AI difficulty, insane. Uh, starting resources, standard lock teams, yes. Enable cheats, no, please. <laughs> starting locations, random, alright. Game speed, on normal. Uh, resource sharing, no. Resource rates, standard. Alright, what matter is this? Vanilla Necron Dynasties, okay, that is on. Vanilla New Squads, that is on, okay. Vanilla Hero War Gears, that's on, that should be on. Vanilla Titans, it should be on. Advanced AI Tactics, plus Insane AI, alright, that's on. So that improves our AIs, okay. Victory Condition Annihilate, and then Control Area. Yeah, that's the name of that one. I was thinking Control and Hold, some, Capture and Hold, something like that, but it's actually Control Area. Uh, that's more than half strategic points to win, okay. We are playing with normal army size, as I said. Victory condition taking hold. Capture more, more than half critical locations to win. That's another way how to achieve victory. Weather conditions uh, is sadly on. I forgot to turn that off. 
it gives a better condition on the map field like that that is why we saw snow on the sand map oh my god i should turn that off immediately that's about it for the game rules we're gonna continue this journey with insane ais and me playing uh, more factions in the next episodes i hope you like this episode and see ya